Hi, in this video, I will show you how to filter a SharePoint list using Power Automate. Here is my list. I have got a couple of records here and I am going to filter title 10. That's what I am after. So the column I need to use here is called title. So sometimes the column name can be different than your scheme name. In your Power Automate, we need to use the actual schema name. To find the actual schema name, you need to go to the list settings. Click the relevant column. Go to the end of this URL and it should say field equals title. So this is the actual name you need to use. The name of the column name here it shows is the display name. So if you want to know the schema name, this is the way you need to find it. Okay. So let's go back to flow now. Okay, SharePoint connector. I'm, I'm after the get items. Okay, now we, we need to set the filter query. So the column name is called title is equal to, I'm after title dash 10. So I need to put a two single quotations. The reason for the two single quotation for the filter query is because the title column is defined as a string data type. So if I go back to my column, it says here column name is a title and it's a text value. The, it, it is a text here. This defined as a text. So that's the reason it's a single line of text here. That's the reason I need to put here two single quotations. Okay. The next step, I'm going to get the return values from the previous step. So here I'm going, I'm after the title again. Here it is. You can see here Power Automate has put an automatic apply to each loop. The reason for this loop is because the get items filter can return more than one items. That's the reason it's it's automatically inserting the apply to each loop. Okay, let's run this flow now. Okay, here it is. So as we can see here, the flow executed successfully and the last step the compose showing the right title name which we filtered against so this is the way we can filter the sharepoint list string columns um, using power automate so let's go back to the power automate so here i use the get items action and i set the filter query as the column name i already explained how to find the actual schema name so if your display name is different, then you need to go and find the actual uh, file name using the list settings. Uh, then uh, always uh, put the two single quotations, then inside the value you are after. Then after after that, uh, you need to use the next step to get what all that value is coming, back, coming from the previous step. Thank you for watching.